I got my fancy cardigan. Hi, the friends! Today, we are doing a video, my top five ways to lose weight without even trying. These are so easy, one could even call them lazy weight loss hacks. That's for the algorithm for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it. We told you, we're honest. boy behind the camera, we have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for over five years. When we first started losing weight, we needed to make small changes because we got too overwhelmed when we made too many changes at once. And we know there's a lot of new friends joining us and joining the channel and they're getting a lot of info about how to lose weight thrown at their brains right now. So we want to yeah. simplify it. Exactly. And what most people do, which is what I did and Kyle did, is they want to take everything away and do all these changes at once. We lost 50 pounds, or we lost our first 50 pounds in three months by just making very small changes, which are the ones we're going to tell you about now. We barely did anything. And it didn't feel like a drastic change to where it scared us to run back to our old ways. Exactly. So the first one. This one, pretty much everybody does and doesn't even realize that it adds a lot of calories by doing this. Stop drinking your calories. That means the meal replacement shakes, smoothies, uh, coffee drinks. A lot of people add stuff to their coffee, pop, juice, everything that you're doing that's full sugar or full calorie. I used to drink seven full sugar Dr. Peppers every single day when I was heavy. I calculated that's like a thousand calories a day just in my drinks alone, not including food. So what I did, I didn't totally take away the pop. I just switched. So just by making the one switch from a full sugar pop, this is full sugar root beer, to a diet pop. It's 170 calories for this can, zero calories for this can. Isn't that crazy? And the taste, if you pick the good ones, Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet A&W Root Beer. Don't really taste different. They're very, very close to the real thing. And a lot of people say, well, Nicole, Kyle, I don't, I don't wanna not put anything in my coffee. Ew, I can't drink black coffee. So these are some of the things that are very low calorie that you can make the switch to where you won't really notice a big difference. If you normally put milk or cream in your coffee, things like non-dairy milk, this silk creamy cashew non-dairy milk, this is the unsweetened vanilla, it's 25 calories for an entire cup and nobody adds that much to their coffee. So you would save a lot in calories alone just by switching to that. And then instead of putting sugar or honey or any of the other additives in your coffee, you could use a zero calorie sweetener. And this one is our favorite right now. It's Better Stevia French Vanilla Flavor. And for one packet, it's zero calories. And it's very, very strong. Like you're not gonna need more than one. No, so that's one change. Literally when I changed my pop, I started seeing massive results right away. So a lot of the friends, and we, me and Nicole joke about this a lot about the chemicals, but here's the truth. A lot of the friends say, well, I don't want the chemicals in the diet pop or the sweeteners. Me and Nicole have said from the beginning, five, six years ago since we started the channel, pick your battles. Yes. If you can remove a thousand calories a day like we did by switching from regular to diet pop, the weight will melt off of you and then, you know, six months later you can say, now I'm going to be a perfect organic grass fed eater and I'm going to get rid of all the chemicals. But in the short term, how about we just get off the weight is what me and Nicole said. It's what we had to do. And this is one thing we often say to you. We had two choices. One, me stay 275 pounds, Kyle 375 pounds, he had type 2 diabetes, I had sleep apnea, we had massive health problems, our health was getting worse. We could stay doing that or 
we could have diet pop and be the weight we are now and not have type 2 diabetes and sleep apnea and be happy and healthy and love what we eat and we choose diet pop so and for us like that's massive i just want to say this again a thousand calorie deficit a day just from the pop that's literally without even trying you literally just swap out a full sugar pop for a diet pop yeah when i did that i couldn't believe it like the dr pepper was my favorite pop same with root beer they taste very similar in diet like kyle said i wasn't missing out on taste i was still getting the pop a thousand calories less though that is massive just in calories from drinking so the second one drink water especially with your meals when you drink water with meals and i drink a jug like this every single day I get this from Walmart. It was $4 in Canada and it, it's exactly the eight, eight ounce glasses of water basically that you're supposed to get in a day. When you drink water with meals, it fills up your belly. So you're fuller faster and you're less likely to reach for more food and overeat because of that. Also, your body does a tricky little thing. If you don't have enough water and you're dehydrated, your body will make you think it's hungry when actually it needs water. So by drinking with meals and getting enough water in a day, your body's gonna function properly and you're, not, you're gonna be less likely to overeat. The third one, portion your food. This is something huge that really changed our lives. We were not ready to give up the foods that we liked, but we knew we had to do something to lose the weight. So we didn't get rid of what we liked, we just ate less. We started portioning our food out and eating less of what we were normally eating. So there are nutrition labels on the backs of all foods or well, not veggies, obviously, but <laughs> mostly there are nutrition labels or you can Google it. Those are the portion sizes that we started using when we started portioning out our food in the beginning. Also, some people will say, well, I'm not ready to go from a full bag of chips to a portion of 30 chips. And that's okay. You don't have to go drastic. If you eat a whole bag of chips for a snack, I did, and you're not ready, eat half. If you ate half a bag of chips every day instead of a whole bag, you would start seeing results. Half a bag of chips less every day is a lot of calories. So that's already putting you in a deficit. And all you need to lose weight is a deficit. So if I ate two muffins every single day when I was really heavy, if I went down to one muffin a day, that's like three or 400 calories less. That's a deficit. That alone will help you lose weight. And that's why we always tell you guys, change maybe one or two things. Don't take the advice of the mainstream and revamp your entire life in one day. Yeah, and you know, there was somebody that said, well, I eat tacos every day, I eat like five tacos. What if I don't wanna give up tacos? You don't have to. You don't even have to get rid of all of the tacos. You can eat four instead of five. It doesn't have to be a major change in the beginning. Just do small things. You can eat four and a half yeah. instead of five. The weight loss will be slower, but at least you'll be making progress and liking what you're eating. And it's easier to stick to when you make small changes. That's what helped us lose the 130 pounds. Not going bonkers on everything, just little steps. The fourth one is eat low calorie dense foods. What that means is eat foods that are full of fiber and low in calories that you can eat a lot of. So it fills your belly up, it makes you feel satisfied, and you're less likely to reach for more food. Things that we love, is, um, I was showing this earlier, Smart Pop. I eat this whole bag, um, and it's like less than 200 calories, I think. It's full of fiber, it's low in fat, and it fills me up. And I eat a bag every single day. Kyle and I have been eating popcorn from the very beginning of our weight loss journey because you get a ton of it for a little bit of calories. It makes you feel full. We look forward to eating it. Also, Fiber One Bars, oatmeal, low in calories, it expands when it's cooked with water. You can get it in a ton of flavors or you can add flavor to plain. Fruit, full in fiber like berries, you can eat a ton of it for low calorie. 
So those are the kinds of foods that we choose. Just by choosing foods like that over, you know, you can eat a handful of nuts or a big bag of popcorn. So just picking your foods wisely. Number five, don't skip meals and eat regularly. So I was so guilty for this in the beginning. I never ate, I ate maybe two meals a day and I skipped a ton of meals. I never ate breakfast and then later on I'd be so hungry, I'd be reaching for food, I'd be so starving. So by eating breakfast, lunch, dinner and two snacks, it keeps my blood sugar regular and I'm way less hungry and way less likely to reach for food because I'm eating regularly throughout the day and I'm not starving. That's why most people get into trouble at night. They always say, oh, at night I'm starving. Well, if you're a skipper of meals or you're not eating regularly, you might really be hungry. So if you eat regular throughout the day, you're going to be fueling your body way less likely to shove stuff in that you didn't want to. All right. That is it. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just little changes. Be gentle on yourself. We've been there. If you want to make it really easy for yourself, we got two complete weight loss guides. Exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. Exact portions, meal plans, family friendly recipes. What? Links are down below. Watch these two videos. Do this. Do the frog. What? Love you, the friends. Welcome to the new ones. Do the stuff, ring the bells, and have a good day. <laughs> Can I ask you a question before we peace out of here? Sure. Where would one get myself a sweater like that? Ardeen online. In Canada? Yeah. Okay. I think it's Ardeen or Arden. A-R-D-E-N-E. -E. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm wearing one next video. At the fancy store. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.